2020 was not the year we were expecting. However, Virginia Hospital Center has maintained a level of excellence second to none. Virginia Hospital Center is among the first in the country to start using those rapid COVID-19 tests. Throughout this crisis, VHC has been leading the way. One of the first hospitals in the nation to establish a rapid and comprehensive COVID-19 testing facility, which has served more than 1,000 patients in just six weeks. Teams at the Arlington site have now tested 1,000 people. VHC has also been at the forefront in the search for solutions. We're one of the about 150 sites globally that are part of the Gilead Remdesivir trial. Participating in multiple groundbreaking clinical trials working towards treatments to the coronavirus. Virginia Hospital Center is also exploring the use of a convalescent plasmas. And as a member of the Mayo Clinic Care Network, Virginia Hospital Center has also played a critical role in the Mayo Clinic's convalescent plasma program. Throughout all of these efforts, patient care is what drives everyone at VHC and inspires others. Sending love to all the workers here. Elise Yanker Hasney is a breast cancer survivor who received treatment at Virginia Hospital Center. She decided to create a glam gown company to uplift the spirits of patients going through treatment. And in the midst of COVID-19, she has donated 140 gowns to VHC. Whether it is providing support for an individual in need or support for medical breakthroughs, Virginia Hospital Center is always there for the community, putting health, safety, and patients first. Shout out a big thank you to the staff at Virginia Hospital Center. My name is Kelly Jones and I have been here at Virginia Hospital Center for a little over 10 years. Um, I am the assistant patient care director on our intermediate care unit. I love this hospital and um, it's a great hospital to work for. It is a teaching hospital. The culture of the hospital, the focus, the mission is to be the best hospital, so we strive to be the best in everything that we do and all the care we provide to our patients. We're not a huge hospital system. Um, we do have a smaller feel. So you walk around, you see faces you recognize. It is a very team-oriented group of nurses, which we love, and we thrive on teamwork on our floor um, and throughout the hospital. All of the doctors here in the hospital are very approachable as well. None of us are afraid to give them a call even in the middle of the night. They value the nurses here and they do annual surveys to make sure that they are listening to us. Any kind of technology that we need to provide the best care for our patients, uh, they make sure that we have that at our hands. Virginia Hospital Center was the right choice for me because they set you up for success right from the beginning. All right, see you guys. I came here to start my nursing career and I found my home. Virginia Hospital Center has been a leader in finding new cutting edge ways to communicate with the community. Thank you for joining us for our first ever Virginia Hospital Center Stakeholders Briefing. So the board asked me to d defer my retirement until the end of 2021. It's great to continue to work with our great team of physicians. The thought process behind the uh, pavilion was to expand our current um, offerings to the community. Now let's take a look at the progress of the construction here. The outpatient pavilion and the garage were both built with the patient first in mind. And this is just the beginning. I love that as huge as this nurse's station is, it seems very open and accessible to everyone. You're able to see all the way through. These doctors right here have helped save the lives of over 50 or 60 people. We all have an opportunity to invest in the future and create a lasting difference. It's my pleasure to introduce Diane and Rick Pollack. Uh, I've also been a patient here on several occasions and it's always been a positive experience. You really feel like you're part of a family. VHC has been able to take its core beliefs and build upon them by expanding and renovating the hospital. Everything that Virginia Hospital Center has been able to do to serve this community from day one has been in partnership with the community. And I wanna thank you all so much for that. We've had a challenging few months here and our staff has been uh, really amazing. This is a chance for you to see the hospital's next phase and transformation to a better and improved place. This unit's 21 beds. It's very exciting for patients to come in here. I think they've done a great job in terms of kind of the themes and the colors that are relaxing. This nurse's station looks a lot different than other nurses' stations. 
So it gives us this ability to have this really wide open spans. You can still see people on the other side of the hallway. I've been a volunteer here at VHC for 44 years. Look at the size of these doors. You can get a wheelchair in and out. I just love the suspect. And we were able to make changes on the fly to change this whole unit, every bed in this unit, to a negative pressure room. The air in that room doesn't get back out into the hospital. It's at a negative pressure relative to the environment around it. I was a submarine officer before I went into the medical practice, and we're really big on clean air in submarines. <laughs> it is not only state of the art in terms of technological advances, it also is a beautiful place. It's aesthetic. It has the patient in mind. It's patient centered. They actually built a patient room out of cardboard. And we were able to bring physicians and nurses in that room and test drive it. We've really created what we think is going to be probably the most innovative patient care space. It's going to be top of the line. The thought that went into every little detail, I, I mean, I just chills for me. I'm most excited about the outpatient pavilion and just all the things that are going to be available in one stop. It's like a one stop convenient shop for all of your healthcare needs. They've thought of so many things for the patient to make their stay much better and certainly that's therapeutic for their return to health. With all that has been accomplished this year, it is only the beginning. As we look forward to finishing the new patient pavilion and the completion of the parking garage, Virginia Hospital Center will always be evolving to better serve its community, both for today and tomorrow.